The Cretaceous period was the last and longest segment of the Mesozoic era. It lasted approximately 79 million years, from the minor extinction event that closed the Jurassic period about 145.5 million years ago to the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event dated at 65.5 million years ago. In the early Cretaceous, the continents were in very different positions than they are today. Sections of the supercontinent Pangaea were drifting apart. The Tethys Ocean still separated the northern Laurasia continent from southern Gondwana. The North and South Atlantic were still closed, although the Central Atlantic had begun to open up in the late Jurassic period. By the middle of the period, ocean levels were much higher, most of the land mass we are familiar with was underwater. By the end of the period, the continents were much closer to modern configuration. Africa and South America had assumed their distinctive shapes, but India had not yet collided with Asia and Australia was still part of Antarctica. One of the hallmarks of the Cretaceous period was the development and radiation of the flowering plants. The oldest angiosperm fossil that has been found to date is Archifructus leoningensis, found in China. It seems to have been most similar to the modern black pepper plant and is thought to be at least 122 million years old. It used to be thought that the pollinating insects, such as bees and wasps, evolved at about the same time as the angiosperms. It was frequently cited as an example of coevolution. New research, however, indicates that insect pollination was probably well established before the first flowers. While the oldest bee fossil was trapped in its amber prison only about 80 million years ago, evidence has been found that bee or wasp-like insects built hive-like nests in what is now called the petrified forest in Arizona. These nests are at least 207 million years old. It is now thought that competition for insect attention probably facilitated the relatively rapid success and diversification of the flowering plants. As diverse flower forms lured insects to pollinate them, insects adapted to differing ways of gathering nectar and moving pollen thus setting up the intricate coevolutionary systems we are familiar with today. There is limited evidence that dinosaurs ate angiosperms. Two dinosaur coprolites discovered in Utah contain fragments of angiosperm wood. This finding, as well as others, including an early Cretaceous ankylosaur that had fossilized angiosperm fruit in its gut, suggests that some paleobeasts ate flowering plants. Moreover, the shape of some teeth from Cretaceous animals suggests that the herbivores grazed on leaves and twigs. During the Cretaceous period, more ancient birds took flight, joining the pterosaurs in the air. The origin of flight is debated by many experts. In the trees down theory, it is thought that small reptiles may have evolved flight from gliding behaviors. In the ground-up hypothesis, flight may have evolved from the ability of small theropods to leap high to grasp prey. Feathers probably evolved from early body coverings whose primary function, at least at first, was thermoregulation. At any rate it is clear that avians were highly successful and became widely diversified during the Cretaceous. Confuciusornis which lived about 125 million to 140 million years ago was a crow-sized bird with a modern beak, but enormous claws at the tips of the wings. Iberumsornis, a contemporary, only the size of a sparrow, was capable of flight and was probably an insectivore. By the end of the Jurassic, some of the large sauropods, such as Apatosaurus and Diplodocus, 
went extinct. But other giant sauropods, including the titanosaurs, flourished, especially toward the end of the Cretaceous. Large herds of herbivorous ornithischians also thrived during the Cretaceous, such as Iguanodon, Ankylosaurus, and the Ceratopsians. Theropods, including Tyrannosaurus rex, continued as apex predators until the end of the Cretaceous. The world was a warmer place during the Cretaceous period. The poles were cooler than the lower latitudes, but overall things were warmer. Fossils of tropical plants and ferns support this idea. Animals lived all over, even in colder areas. For instance, Hadrosaurus fossils dating to the late Cretaceous were uncovered in Alaska.